I'm going to share my story of how I overcame delayed sleep phase syndrome after 15 years of struggling with it. During those 15 years, I tried just about every recommendation for how to fix circadian problems without finding any meaningful success. In 2020, I came across Insomnia Coach on YouTube, and Insomnia Coach, whose name is Martin Reed, discusses cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. As the name suggests, it is really targeted towards people with insomnia, and although I had a circadian problem, I found that the ideas were very practical and would apply to sleep issues in general. The cognitive behavioral therapy consists of creating a sleep window that you strictly adhere to and shorten when you're struggling to have successful sleep within that window. Also, um, creating new and better associations with sleep by avoiding sleep rituals, getting out of bed when you're struggling to sleep at night, and avoiding lounging in bed or napping in bed during the day, and maintaining a high level of activity during the day, even if you've had a poor night of sleep the night before, in order to build sleep pressure for the following night. So I implemented a sleep window from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m., which was very different from the delayed phase that I had, which had me sleeping from between 5 to 7 a.m. and waking up between 1 to 3 p.m. For the first three nights, I didn't sleep at all, but I maintained a high level of activity. And on the fourth night, I got a few hours of sleep, and on the following nights, a bit more. I decided to add in low-dose melatonin in the form of 400 micrograms one hour before the start of my sleep window. And I had used melatonin many times before, but in combination with the cognitive behavioral therapy, I felt that it had a more pronounced beneficial effect. So I started having pretty decent sleep within my window, but I ran into a few bumps along the way, um, mainly from sleeping past my alarm. So I needed to find a way to guarantee my wake up time. And so what I did is I purchased a very obnoxiously loud alarm called the Sonic Boom Alarm, and I set that up in my kitchen upstairs. And I set my phone alarm for 15 minutes before that in my room, which gives me enough time to get upstairs and turn off the sonic boom before it disrupts my whole household. That was sufficient motivation to consistently guarantee my wake up time. And ever since I had that in place, along with the melatonin and the cognitive behavioral therapy, I've had what feels like totally normal sleep during my sleep window and normal energy during the day. I don't feel like I have the chronic jet lag feeling at all anymore. And I feel that my sleep is restorative and, and feels natural. So this is also functioning as a testimonial for Insomnia Coach. And anybody who has any form of sleep problem, I recommend that you go to his channel and watch his content. And for those of you with a circadian problem, Adding in low-dose melatonin and finding a system that guarantees your wake-up time, I believe will give you the same results that I had.